okay, it finally stopped raining here in Hendersonville, Tennessee. You know, we're up at Maple Motors. Uh, I want you to check out maplemotors.com. We have financing and shipping for all these classic cars. But what we're going to be doing in this video is picking out flaws, letting you know what's wrong. Anything that I find will be pointed out in the video. This is a 1971 Buick LeSabre convertible. 350 under the hood with cold AC, power steering and power brakes. This is a huge car. And it's actually pretty clean. I was checking that green paint job out. It looks different. It stands out for sure. White top. White interior. Again, there's detailed pictures on our website. Be sure to go there, check it out. Be sure to hit subscribe and share this video. If you want to pick up some merchandise, people are looking for that link. First link in the description. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Looking around the interior. She's clean, guys. I like how they dressed up the door panels back then. The seats, they always got good designs. Interior on this one is nice. I got the tan visors, tan dash. Let's go ahead and start it up. Cold AC. This vent here is not blowing. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's sideways. Checking all our vents, they are working. Open up our glove box. Look at this. Woo! Try the radio. <laughs> we try this. Wipers? Yeah, AC's blowing good. We know that. We've got gas, I think. I'm sure. We'll watch the gauge. We're showing the mileage. This is a 71 model, guys. That's something to remember when you think about mileage. Has it been changed through the years? Our left turn signal is not showing up. That bolt could very well be out. I'm just kind of making sure the connection's there. And it is. This side is blinking. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works? <laughs> you know, I would have said that worked. But it doesn't. Nope. Let's hit the road and see what else we can find. Here we go. This is the first time I've driven this ride. And we will be putting the top down. But before we do that, we're going to run up the road and get over to one of our parking lots. Reason for that, cold AC, you can kind of listen to the car. It's been raining off and on, and I don't want to mess up and end up getting the inside this corridor. So hopefully the rain will hold out long enough for us to get this video done. There you go. Let's go. Speedometer is coming up on the dash. And of course, as I'm riding down the road, this thing is pretty straight. Yeah, it's not pulling to the left or the right. You got tight steering. You hear the wind on that top. Getting into the brakes. A little bit of a left pull when you slam the brakes, but I bet you that gets better as we go. Let's go ahead and put her to the floor. Got smooth power. You just gradually feel it going pulling you back into the seat there. Getting back in those brakes. Still a little bit of a left pull. You can see it doing that. Again with that smooth power. Doesn't feel bad. Man, I tell you what though, that gas gauge is not floating up and down like I want it to. So I don't think it's 100% full. Kind of watching it a little bit. I may need to stop off over here and put about $20 worth of premium fuel in this ride. That's probably what I'm going to try to do. Because I don't know if I trust the gauge or not. And that'll be 100% there. If I could put $10 in, it's not full. <laughs> so let's go ahead and pull in here. After this, we're going to get some outside shots in the parking lot there. Uh, I like lighting the undercarriages up on all my videos. Just extra smooth. That's one thing about this car, the suspension's just floaty. 
All right, let's get some gas. I'll be right back. So, hey, this gas tank was not full. That's a good reason to stop. I got almost five gallons in there. So I, I'm gonna 100% say that the gas gauge is broken. Good deal, I'm glad I stopped. Probably would have ran out of gas or something. Starts right up, let's get out of here. As far as this top goes, well, it's going down. So, pull that one, pull that one, and where's the top? There's the top switch, I haven't taken it down personally. I'm holding the button. But this thing is not exactly going the way I need it to. Hold on a second. Let's try to help it. Obviously, we need to look at the outside of it first. I'm kind of glad that I got out. Just check around the outside here, and we'll see about getting it down. Looks like it started to work, and then it just kind of stopped, so... Hopefully it won't give me too much trouble here. Well, I actually didn't know that it didn't come down. Top is going to need some repair, guys. Or two people to help you put it down. I guess today, it's staying up. Time to roll. Let's head on back to the lot. So far, I'm still chilling in the AC, man. It feels good. We're gonna head on back. Uh, I might ask him about the top because he had the top down, I believe, when he did his detailed pictures. 
I believe it's even on the website at the top. I'm gonna have to look. Just double check here. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. It's the end of the day here too. It's been raining like crazy. Literally only got one test drive done today. That's all right, I'm still ahead of the game. Still, when you hit the brakes, got a little bit of a left pull there. Just nice, quiet, smooth. Speedo's working. You know, I noticed something. When you cut the lights on, the gas gauge cuts down to three quarters of a tank. When you turn the turn signal on, the gas gauge drops down to half a tank. And every time the turn signal flashes, it jumps up to three quarters of a tank. I don't know what's up with that. I think they got it hooked up wrong. That's probably why the thing don't work. Bumping the road here. And that guy just kept on going and cut the guy off behind me. I, didn't, I thought maybe he was going to look, but he didn't look. As long as he don't hit me, I'm good. <laughs> Wonder if the washer's full. No, but it activates the wipers. Okay, cut off. I forgot you gotta manually cut that one off. This operates the uh, mirror too. I don't know why, you can just get it where you want. <laughs> Here we go. Woo, little tire kicker. I had to see if it'd do it. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pull back into the lot here. Uh, we're gonna get over to picking out the flaws. And I'm going to go inside and build this video for you. Be sure to look. The first link in the description is the merchandise. People keep asking. Well, our website guy is out of office at the moment. So uh, I'm trying to get him to add the link to our main website where it says merchandise. I took down the old spring.com and I got it to where we're basically manually shipping all these to you. It's going to work out a lot better for us. We get the uh, shirts down in price. We get more stuff included in the package. It's more personal. And you'll enjoy it. You'll like the clothes because we check them all out and make sure they are perfect before we send them. That's why I got rid of the spring.com thing. I could not. At first it was great and then I started getting emails. People are having like little things on their shirt that said text and just some ridiculous stuff. So these, if you're not doing it yourself, it seems like, you know, it's not right. So I'm gonna do it myself. And I've been getting all your orders and I do appreciate that guys. I see them coming in every day. Typically the same day that you order, I ship all of them out. Oh yeah, I got a good little spot for it. Oh, tuck her in right here. I do appreciate you watching again. Thanks guys. Okay, let's walk around this ride. Anything I find, you'll know about it. There is detailed pictures on my website, maplemotors.com.
looking at this front bumper there is some light pitting a little scuff there in the side scratch up on top of it scuff there a couple scratches here in the front Well, bumper's just got some scuffs on it, that's for sure. Scratches over in the corner here. Let's go down this side. Scratch there. Chip here at the bottom. Little spot there. Chips at the bottom here. That corner chip there. Little spot there. Back your mid section. It's got some little bubbles. crack right there in the paint up here as well hitting on your handle got chips up top here the stains in the paint up here Chrome's got a little bit of pitting on it cracks in that seal there again with the top uh, I may ask some questions when we get back just to make sure it doesn't go down a certain way most of the time that's how it works a little crack there little bubbles in the back and we may just have a weak motor on this one. Top motor, that is. Little bubbles here on top. Pitting on this back bumper. Got the boot for the top, Got the trunk. It looks fairly clean. Package tray, okay. It smells good in here. I don't know what that smell is, but it smells great. It's like a brand new shoe. <laughs> That's what it is. Coming down with the trunk lid. She locked. Spots in the paint there. Little chip here. Cracks above the lock. Scratch there. Little blemish here. Crack back here. Spot on the trunk. bubble right here in the back crack in the paint there coming down this side Spot there. A 
You got some rust bubbles up here in the front. A little scratches up here. Chip, back in midsection. Little marks. Marks on the side there. Also here. Little chip. Little spots back here. Chip up top here. Little dings on the chrome trim. Scratch there. Pitting on your door handle. Chip here in the front. Little chips on the edge here. Bubble. Spot there in the trim. Extra wax. Front windshield on this one. Chip there. There are four little chips. We've made it around the outside. Let's go ahead and check out that interior. Door panel on this one. Little stuff there. You got some dents in the little trim plate here. So when you open the door, little chips. <clears throat> and the carpet in this one, let's look at it. Yeah, it looks all right. Well, I don't have the right key in there, apparently. There's another one. Give it a little gas here. AC is pulling on the motor a little bit more. Causing to have a low idle. It's been freezing this whole time. I had to cut it off. Part of the experience there. Your rear view mirror's got a little bit of old glass look to it. See the AC pulling down on the motor.
of those belts is squeaking. It should now. Spot there. A little bit of pitting in that louver. Let's turn the AC off and show you the difference. Got a good low idle. Bubble there, crack there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit subscribe and share. I try to point out the flaws so you know what you're getting before you make the drive here. There's always detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. I make videos every week. We get 10 to 15 cars a week, and that's what you're gonna see. You're gonna see 10 to 15 videos week after week after week you know about two years ago we were putting out 15 to 20 videos man that was just too much so we'll top out pretty much every week with about 10 to 15 cars and the only reason you only see what nine or ten by then is because a lot of these sell before i can video them that's how it is guys i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one